product provided by Nintendo. Hey, Millie, did I ever tell you the story of when I went down to meet the Nintendo Labo director himself, Mr. Sakaguchi? One day in April of 2019, Nintendo offered me an opportunity of a lifetime. Nintendo asked if I could bring nine students from our Mahanasen community and their families down to Nintendo New York in Rockefeller Plaza. It wasn't until the day before that event that we found out who the special guest was going to be. Mr. Sakaguchi is the director of all the different Nintendo Labo kits and has been working at Nintendo for the past 15 years. Along with some of his team members from Nintendo of Japan, Mr. Sakaguchi made the trek all the way to New York just to meet our students. Nintendo truly went above and beyond to make this an experience that nobody would ever forget. They closed down Nintendo New York for an hour and a half and kept security extremely tight. We were the only group in the entire store. To say that our group of students were excited is a little bit of an understatement. Once we arrived and walked upstairs to the second floor, Mr. Sakaguchi and his team were waiting there for us. While my students and their families took their seats, I took my Nintendo Labo classroom team to meet Mr. Sakaguchi. We were asked to kick off the event and present to Mr. Sakaguchi all of the incredible work that our team here at Brock Primary has done with Nintendo Labo Classroom. I had 15 minutes to show all of the phenomenal work that Mrs. Rao and Mrs. Zajewski had done along with the Institute of Play's Nintendo Labo Classroom Teacher's Manual. We created a binder that showcased all the different lesson plans our teachers created, some of the student work samples, and how we aligned it to our curriculum from kindergarten to fifth grade. Now, Mr. Sakaguchi doesn't speak very much English as he does live in Japan, but Nintendo of America sent one of their own translators that works on translating games from Japanese to English to help with our conversation. After our presentation, it was time for our students to have an RC car battle race with Mr. Sakaguchi. Mr. Sakaguchi's reactions were priceless when he was battling our students. The enthusiasm and kindness that Mr. Sakaguchi showed each and every one of our students was inspirational. After the RC car battles, Mr. Sakaguchi then provided a brief introduction of himself, including his role as a director of the Nintendo Labo series. And then came one of my favorite parts of the entire event. Mr. Sakaguchi provided a full-on demonstration of how to code and create your own game within Nintendo Labo VR. Mr. Sakaguchi went step by by step how to take a game that is already started here in Nintendo Labo's VR Plaza and then switch to the 2D editing mode. From there, he showed us how you could change things such as the size of your character, the length of one's arm, the different settings, and so much more. I actually don't know who was more excited at this point, whether it was the students or the teachers. I'm actually gonna say it was the teachers because I remember looking over at Mrs. Ajeski and she said, our coding event is going to be changed forever Everyone was at the edge of their seats, totally hooked at what Mr. Sakaguchi was teaching. You could just tell that Mr. Sakaguchi was an educator at heart by his passion, his enthusiasm, and dedication during his entire presentation. Once the lesson wrapped up, it was time for our kids to dive into the VR toy con and try out the bird, the wind pedal, the camera, the elephant, and the blaster. It was at this moment that the highlight of the entire experience took place. As the kids were playing with the different VR toy cons, I walked over to Mr. Sakaguchi and just wanted to thank him for everything that he's done. My team and I couldn't stop gushing about how much we loved Nintendo Labo and what it is accomplishing in the classroom. We tried to explain to him that he's truly changing lives and inspiring an entire new generation of game desires, coders, and computer scientists. And Mr. Sakaguchi was incredibly kind and gracious and we could tell from his expression how excited he was when he saw the different lessons that Mrs. Rao and Zajewski had created. Then I asked him if I could pick his brain about an idea for a game that I have and if it was possible to create in the VR Plaza. I asked if we could create little bubbles, maybe clouds like in Yoshi's Crafted World that have the question mark and the wings flying in the sky, but instead of the question marks, you could put different words in there, like say, first grade spelling list words, and you would have those spelling words in those clouds and some would be spelled correctly and some would be spelled incorrectly. Now if you took the Toy-Con Blaster and you shot the word that were correctly spelled, 
depending on how fast you could shoot them, you would then earn points. And if you shot the misspelled word, you'd either lose points or lose a life. And at the end of the game, you would then get a total of all of the correct words that you hit, all the ones that you missed. And that could then be sent to the teacher so that they could use an informal assessment to check up to see if the students have an understanding of this concept. I could see light bulbs going off in Mr. Sakaguchi's brain as he responded, yes, it's possible, but extremely difficult. He then explained that if I could accomplish creating a multiple choice question, and when the student hit the correct answer, it would then do some type of action. Once I figured out that, then I would be able to make the transition to create the game that I had explained, but that it would take some time practicing the skill. I wish I could have recorded my reaction because I bet my jaw had dropped and I had to scoop it up off the floor once Mr. Sakaguchi finished talking. We had one final activity before the event was finished for the day, the student Q&A. Each student had their own question for Mr. Sakaguchi regarding Nintendo Labo or his experiences working with Nintendo of Japan. Every student did a great job coming up with their own question, but my favorite answer from Mr. Sakaguchi was about the question, what was the hardest part of making Nintendo Labo? Mr. Sakaguchi told us a story of his very first Nintendo Labo prototype where he invited a whole bunch of students just like our group to try out his very first Toy-Con creations. When the students were trying to build their Toy-Cons, Mr. Sakaguchi realized that they were having a ton of difficulty and some weren't even completing the Toy-Cons at all. He told us that later that night when he went back to his hotel room, he just sat and cried because he felt that he had failed himself. He was so excited about this project and it did not meet his expectations or standards, but he did not give up. He went back to work the next day and modified those toy cons so that they would be easier to build for younger students. And now look where he's at. Look what Nintendo Labo has accomplished. All of his hard work, persistence, and determination has clearly paid off. Mr. Sakaguchi even told our team that over in Japan, they have full on summer camps fully dedicated to Nintendo Labo. I looked over at our teachers and I could tell just from their faces alone that they were thinking, how could we bring this over to our district? And I have a feeling that we'll be hearing a proposal from them pretty soon. Thank you so much, Mr. Sakaguchi, Nintendo of Japan, Nintendo of America, everyone at Nintendo New York, the parents that went on this trip, the kids, the families, everyone that was a part of this magical opportunity. You made so many dreams come true. It was one of the best days of my professional career and a day that I will never forget. Thank you so much, Mr. Sakaguchi and Nintendo for this amazing experience. You've inspired me so much. He's really nice and I like that he taught us to build our own game. Thank you so much, Nintendo, for this experience. I'm never gonna forget this. Just thank you. Thanks, Thanks Nintendo. Nintendo. And that's the story of when I met Mr. Sakaguchi. Maybe one day soon, you can go down to Nintendo New York and maybe Mario or even Princess Peach will be there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to work hard, play hard, and I'll catch you next time.